hi guys welcome back to my channel it is Ojo Nguayakubo thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here you're welcome as my old subscribers you guys are the real MVP thank you so much for always coming back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit your pictures using your mobile phone yes using your mobile phone if you want me to do the Android version for you please let me know in the comment section as for this video it's going to be an iphone tutorial so um if you have an Andro android phone and you want me to do like a part two showing you guys how to edit on your android phone please let me know in the comment section and i'll gladly do it for you okay so guys first off i'm going to put off my data and then we'll start so i'm using facetune for this video and i'm using facetune too so i'm just going to scroll down check for the pictures that i want to edit once i select the picture i am going to start editing okay so now i'm using facetune 2 and i have selected the picture that i want so i will just go to retouch and zoom in totally then i'll start smoothing out the face wherever i see that is rough i'm going to smooth it out using the smooth from the retouch app um retouch feature yeah so i'll just go through the face the forehead smoothing all those parts that are rough as you can see then once i'm done i'm just going to reduce it to my desired um amount so next off i'll go to paint which is just i rearranged my features to suit my work so once i'm done with retouch i go to paint and when i go to paint i go to um skin so i'm just going to highlight under my eyes now you have to you have your makeup has to be on point for you to be able to edit your pictures for it to come out well okay so it's just what i did when i was doing my makeup that i am redoing here so i'm just going to highlight my face under my eyes with a bright color okay you have to zoom in totally again to be able to um edit your pictures well so now that i have I highlighted it i'm just going to reduce it because i don't want it to look fake i don't want it to look artificial so i'm just going to reduce it a bit and then say so i reduced it to my taste so after which i'll go back to paint again and then i'll go back to a contour shade so i'm going in with that brown color i'm just going to contour my my face my forehead so i picked a brown um shade which i'm going to use to contour my face my forehead and yeah so that's what i'm doing actually so now that i have contoured it i'll zoom out and then look at it and reduce it again because you don't want it to look fake you still want it to look natural okay so i'm just going to reduce it to 30 and then i'm done with that so i'm going to go back again into paint and this time around i'll go into um tones and i'll pick the eyeshadow color that i used to to um apply that color under my eyes so that's what i did that was the color i used when i was doing my makeup so and you know when when light hits your face so many um let's say the colors you use on your face get to fade out because of the light on your on your face so that's what is happening here the lights actually took out so many colors from my face and i'm bringing back those colors by using the same color that i used when i was doing my makeup to edit my picture so you see before and after then i'm going to go back again into paint and this time around i'm going to pick um i'm going to pick that ash color and i'll try to contour my nose i yeah so i'll do the same thing for the other side and then reduce it totally again so it doesn't look fake i'll just reduce it reduce it totally 
yeah so i brought it to 16 can you see before and after now that that is okay i'll still go back to paint paint is where the work is okay so i'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and then pick that brown color and if you can see from the makeup you see that color is actually on my eyelid so i'm just going to enhance it by applying more of the orange color like a burnt orange color or something do more of that that was my transition color and then i'll reduce it so it can just pop more it doesn't need to be very obvious so it can pop more next off i'll still go back to paint and pick another color like that light green which is actually on my eyelid and just pop the color some more like make it very pronounced okay that is what i'm doing here i'll do it for the other eyes too pop the color you have to zoom in whenever you're editing your pictures just zoom in so see that and i'll reduce it reduce it a bit here yeah. so that's fine next again paint and i'm going to can you see the highlight is not popping so well so i'm going to that light shade up there and i'll just tap on the areas where i highlighted can you see the areas where i highlighted so i'm just going to tap on that tap on it tap on it and then i'm going to reduce it to suit the makeup so it doesn't look fake it doesn't look artificial okay So this is just me reducing the highlights that I applied on the face. And I'm going to my forehead to do the same thing, the other cheek to do the same thing. Just re um, apply the highlights there and then reduce when necessary, you see? you see. So it's popping very well compared to before, before, after, before, after. So yeah. So I'm going to go back to paint. <laughs> Don't get tired of it. Don't get tired of it. Paint has the bulk of the work to do for your editing. So I'm going to go back into the tone and then I'm going to pick the shade that I applied on my lips, which I feel this was actually too dark for the color that I applied on my lips. I feel like it's too dark, so I'm just going to clean it and then go in with another shade that is close to what i used see before after it's too dark so i'm just going to use something close to the color that i used to um apply my lips thing there's this color up above it then yeah i'm going to use that coffee brown to like line my lips and yeah i'll do this for all i'll do this for all over my lips i'll do this um step for the lips so yeah that's what is happening here and then i'll reduce it again like i said you don't want it to look fake so reduce it okay yeah so now that i have reduced it i'm going to look for that nude color that is um, in the middle of my lips, which is here. Where is it? Yeah. So I'm just going to tap that on my lips. I'm zooming in and I'm just going to tap that, tap that all over my lips. And we're good. before after the mouth and the lips is fine already so we're going to okay it and then i'll go back to paint and pick that color okay so i want to um make those strokes on my eyebrows you, you usually see it on people's pictures is that you do it when you're doing your makeup or you do it when you're editing your pictures so i'm just going to apply that light shade just to make the um 
the brows look um feathered so i'm just going to reduce the color a bit and i feel like um one of the brows is looking dark so i'm going to use that um light shade over there to make the brows look alike so i'm just going to apply that color on the eyebrows see that's what i'm doing here so i'll just apply it on the eyebrows you have to be careful with this zoom in properly and so i'll just go and reduce it reduce it so it looks like the other one yeah so yes that is that for the brows the next one is going to be my eyes so i'll go back to paint and go and look for oh that's not it okay i'm going to highlight under my brows now highlighting under my brows using that light shade yeah i'll go back to the other eyes and i'll do the same there and reduce it because you don't want it to look obvious reduce it okay so go back to paint i want to brighten my eyes I'll go look for that sky blue color. The sky blue color. See there. Where are you going to? <laughs> That's the sky blue color. And then I'll zoom in and apply that color in my eyes. Light is hitting your eyes again. So if you say you want to use white, it's going to look somehow. It's not going to be looking real. But this is what is going to happen so you have to also be careful so you don't mess up your work i noticed that i mistakenly brought out that sky blue on my skin so i'm just going to clean it up yeah yes zoom out reduce where necessary if i don't really need to i'll just let it be so yeah that is it um i'll go back to um okay now i'm using this other um this thing um feature that is no i'm using retouch again so like smoothing the entire face again so you just have to be careful so you don't overdo it so that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to smoothen the areas where i contour and then smoothing that part just smoothing smoothing so it looks Needs something, something. Now that that is sorted, before, after, before, after. Okay, and we'll go to touch up. Touch up is where I do like the final gain gain on the picture. So I'll go to glow and increase glow a bit. This is going to give your picture that glow give the face that glow that is lacking then i'll go to eye bag if my, if i had eye bags once you click on this it's going to reduce it but i usually do it just so that under the eyes is smooth then i go to forehead and increase it for the highlight to pop out some more i go to the nose i increase it so that the highlight on the nose to pop out i go to the eyes i increase it a bit so that the eyes will pop up i go to where again i go back mistakenly touched something but like i'll go back to tones and then go back to i'll go back to touch up and then go back to lips and increase it totally so that the lips will pop up then the cheeks this will also contour your face so i'm just going to increase it a bit and yeah the face and the jaw has been contoured so next i go to the focus no I'll, I'll go to um eyes and then reshaping my nose because i feel like the nose is big yeah okay so i went to the focus i'll go to auto and i'm going to reduce it a bit reduce it a bit yeah so that the back is looking blurry and then i'll go back to face and go back to nose and just reduce the nose yeah so it's not looking big it's looking 
<laughs> contoured <laughs> if that's the word yeah so i'll go to edit reduce brightness yeah increase color and yes we're done i okay it when you increase the color all the colors you applied on the face they are going to pop even the clothes is going to pop so this is before and after before after so now that we're done before after you click ok so yeah thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next one i'm saving the picture actually so thank you so much for watching i hope it was interesting and i hope you would be able to edit your pictures perfectly on your own using your mobile phone these steps are not really really difficult um, there are some of the features that you have to pay for and there are some that are free so like you saw in the video i explained in details what those features in the app stands for and what they do okay so these are simple steps that you can do on your own and have a great picture no more um, boring pictures okay like whenever you take your pictures set it down edit them and let them look bomb okay if you know you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like share comment in the comment section and see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.